Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at Walmart exclusive Legacy Sandstorm. And his first appearance is from the 3H Bakon comics uh, reaching the Omega Point story arc where he is one of the 12 Zodiacs uh, sent down to stop Chakrat's plans so he forms as one of the Predacons to kind of sabotage him and I think his name is Scorpius. But yeah, uh, as you see here he is a tannish kind of desert scorpion look. Um, not 100% like his original toy, which is super expensive, and I'm really glad Hasbro decided to make this figure. Um, and as you can see, the vibrant orange, the purple, all very nicely done together. Um, and yeah, uh, he does come with a bee and a missile, um, just like Scorponok does. However, mine, let me show you here with camera, mine just came with uh, two purple metallic missiles. And I think that's just, I think that's better, in my opinion, than the uh, B, because his character never really used the B, if I remember correctly. And I think it just fits better with him having two missiles instead of the, you know, the B and the missile. But the B is done in a nice sand color, as we've seen from Hasbro. Though, again, it's just like Scorponok, the only nitpick on this alt mode is, one, the way it sits to the face. I really, I know it's going more for that realistic scorpion mode, especially in this colors. But I really don't like the way the head is set up with the shoulders. Just kind of looks all squished. Um, but yeah, I think it does a better job at looking at like a scorpion than Scorponok does. And yeah, uh, let's get to some size comparisons in alt mode. All right, and starting off size comparisons, here he is next to uh, Kingdom Scorponok. Uh, you know the same mold. So just get that in there. Oh, let's see if they can all fit in here. Quick, here we go. And as you can see. Sandstorm just looks like a more desert looking scorpion. I'm gonna put his foot down. And yeah, the be the better comparisons in Robo mode with the difference in detail. But there's Kingdom Scorponok. Here he is next to the Chad Vintage Scorponok. And it's showing you the size difference from also the original uh, Sandstorm body, which would be that one right there. Overall, there's that size comparison. Here he is next to his wave, um, I guess not wave mate, but I guess gear mate. <laughs> I'm not too sure, but uh, kickback just for uh, another legacy comparison in bug mode. All right. Here he is next to Golden Disc Pterosaur. Let's see if I can stand him up with this. And the reason I'm doing this comparison is for the inevitable fractal we're getting from Amazon. That's how, you know, just imagine him being green. And then Sandstorm looks really great on the 3H display. I am actually super excited for that. There you go. Here he is next to his buddy, Chakra's Herald Cataclysm. And I've shown him off once before on this uh, channel and on Twitter. Uh, made by a good friend, ID Arm. Uh, check his channel out. Uh, in the description below, but he makes a very good custom of uh, Cataclysm, which never actually had a toy. Uh, the one Herald who may not ever get a toy, because um, we're getting Antagony, and we got Cybershock as a stand-in for Overbite, so it just looks really nice. Sandstorm, I'm really excited Sandstorm uh, was made. Yeah, there you go. And, for last comparison, you guys next to it? A version of G1 Sandstorm. Um, that's the GDO Sandstorm, just for a comparison for him. And last but not least, here he is next to Botcon Ape Link. And again, if you have the original Ape Link, it will look more accurate, but this one works in terms of size and just scale with the like, chug aesthetic. And it looks really nice overall. Alright, and yeah, so that was it for alt mode. Let's get into some transformation.
and here we have Sandstorm in his robot mode. And as you can see, he does have the uh, muted mask toy head, unlike Scorbron, which has the show head, which is really cool. It's kind of kind of nice that they gave it to him. We take a closer look at the detail here. As you can see, a very well done head sculpt. Again, nice orange crest here. Love the two-toned orange to break it up as well. Uh, lovely Matt Kibble. And yeah, there's pretty much it for the molding and sculpting on this figure. Again, it's just like Sculpernock. The only new uh, retool is the head. And even that, it really changes the look of the figure. I do know we're getting a toy color Scorpionock as well that will use this head. So that would be really cool to see. I'm just curious to see which toy color they go for. Uh, the black and blue and red or the, the new vintage one. All right. Taking a look at articulation wise. His arms can move all the way around. Full 360. Elbows can go up good elbow joint there he does have a 90 degree bend at the elbow but he also can bend his elbow the other way uh, do the transformation so you can always do that uh, his wrist swivel ah, sorry let me do that real quick his wrist swivel uh, and then obviously claws can open up that far you can remove the missile close it back down his legs can go out all the way and not back, but if you extend it, kind of get it out, kind of off to a side angle, just because of the kibble on his back. Uh, knee, good 90 degree bend. Ankle rocker, very nice ankle tail here. Uh, this toe can go down, uh, this one can't. Just do the transformation. And then he has a full waist swivel as well. And then head can move all the way around get that going there pretty tight on mine and then yeah the backpack can uh, move as well um, the backpack's kind of weird um, at, same thing on Scorpionock you could do it however you want I do it like this just to kind of get the clutter pretty out the way kind of get it out the way kind of have it up like that and as you can see as well I have the waist out and that's just how I do Scorpionock and Sandstorm with, because uh, I think it's kind of looks kind of off when it's done normally, and so I kind of do that nice kind of extending it. Yeah, it has a little gap, but I'm not not too worried about it. On Sandstorm, it's pretty noticeable, but Scorpionock it blends with his chest, and yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let's take a look at uh, size comparisons. All right, and for Robo mode comparisons, there are going to be quite a few, so I'm going to try to get through them as soon as possible. And starting off, here we have Kingdom Scorpionock for comparisons. There you go. As you can see, one is show accurate, one is more closer to the toy, and each head really defines each figure, and I really do like that. Uh, the paint and deco can really change the figure. So there's that one. Here he is next to Vintage Scorpionock with his muted mask on. To see the comparison to the original muted mask as well. There you go. And again, they did a really good job of getting close to the muted mask, and I really like that. All right, here he is next to Legacy Kickback. Get his ankle tilt, quick. There you go. Sorry about that. There we go. He's next to Legacy Kickback. Here he is next to. Botcon Ape Link. Alright. Here he is next to Golden Disc Pterosaur. If you can stand. Sorry about that. There you go. Looking very nice. Here he is next to a random <laughs> a random comparison, but Machine War Sandstorm, because that's another sandstorm I have, so why not? There you go. All right, here he is next to uh, Legacy Voyager, Legacy Bulkhead, and I'm really loving what Legacy is doing, taking people from all these different universes and just having them, you know, come together. Really nice, really nice. Here he is next to another Beast Wars figure, 
Mute and Tigertron. Looking very good next to each other. Love the different oranges and such like that. Uh, they go both, at least to me, they go on the shelf with my Chakra. All right. Speaking of Chakra, here he is next to his buddy, Cataclysm. Looking very nice. Sad we were never getting an official figure of Cataclysm, but this one will do just perfect. And let me see if I can get them all in frame here. The one and only Chakra. Let's see if you can stand in here real quick. There you go. Kind of get them all in here real quick. There you go. And yeah, I can't wait for Antagony. And then going to add a few more, more of the toy uh, colored figures to go with him. And yeah, finally have a good, a good looking set for Chakra. Really happy about that. All right, and that was it for comparisons. And uh, before we move on to final thoughts, he is available on pre-order at uh, HasbroPulse.com with limited quantities. Um, I'm not too sure about Walmart anymore, but I heard he did sell out. So if you do want him, uh, go grab him. And yeah, let's move on to some final thoughts. All right, and for some final thoughts, um, I highly recommend this figure. Again, if you can get him, I'm not too sure about if he's going to be available outside the U.S. or not. But he is up, as I said before earlier, he is up on Hasbro Pulse uh, along with Night Prowler and Buzzsaw. Um, he's really great. He's really one of those niche kind of things, uh, Bakon character. Um, he can also be used as Shadow Glass uh, Scorponok as well, which I'm not too big of a fan on that, but he could be multi-purposed um, and yeah he's uh, beautifully painted I love what uh, what legacy is doing so far I can't wait for the rest of the Beast Wars characters we're getting again all those toy accurate colors uh, the target exclusives uh, I just really love what legacy is doing I love how they're really finally giving us botcon figures that are absurdly priced on the aftermarket and so close to finishing this crew of Predacons to go with Chakra. And yeah, don't forget to check out the links below uh, for my socials, uh, the Golden Disc Podcast. Uh, we had a kind of a mess up on the recent episode, so we're going to have to re-record it. So it's going to be up in a few weeks. Uh, check out ID Arms channel on Twitter. Again, links in the description. Uh, check out all his customs. Again, he made the custom cataclysm there in the back. Very lovely watermelon kitty. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it to say. Um, I hope everyone else enjoys Legacy. I know they're really just hitting the hammer hard with all the very good figures that are coming out. Solid plastic. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys have a great day.